Good morning. I'm over here making breakfast and I am making my coffee so I can get through the day. It's Saturday. I didn't really get to sleep in today. Um, well, I kind of did get to sleep in today. I slept till like 8.30. But that is sleeping in based on my week, my weekday schedule. Because during the week, I have to be up at 6.30. So, I guess you could say... I guess you could say I did sleep in. Am I tired? Yes. But am I always tired? Yes. So, hopefully this coffee will help me. I always use this coffee mug. The M is faded off, but it's big. Like, my other coffee cups are smaller. So, I kind of just like the amount of coffee I get from that coffee cup. So I keep using it. Do anybody on here have an obsession with mugs? Because I want to start making them, like, customized mugs. Um... The ones with the diamonds and just vinyl, different type of things. Um, comment down below and let me know if you guys like mugs. And um, I got to revamp my channel, y'all. I changed my name. I need a new background. I need a new intro. I have not even been using the intro. I also need um, to put like my Instagram and all my information and everything just included in my video every time. Like every video, it needs to be at the bottom. So you guys can, if y'all want to order stuff, y'all can order it. Or if y'all want to just DM me or just other places besides YouTube to find me. Come on. So I'm in the process of that. Um, people think doing a YouTube channel is not a lot, but trying to run a YouTube channel is a lot of work. And only the ones that have a YouTube channel know that. So it doesn't matter what the other people think. Um, I do not like eggs that have like, I always crack my eggs and um, I don't like the ones that got like these little brown things in them. I take them out and I take the little white slimy. They say that those are eyeballs. I don't know if those are really eyeballs, but that's what <laughs> that's what my parents told me they were growing up. So comment down below if you know what those things are, because are they eyeballs or was they lying to me? All right, so I just came on here to chat with y'all and cook breakfast. And all that good stuff. Um, just had to wash that nasty, slimy stuff off my hands. But <sighs> y'all really got to watch our kids. You really have to watch your kids because me, I'm so overprotective of my kids. People hate it. You know, they hate it. But it's just like, would you rather be overprotective or would you rather play, play around with your kids? Like, I don't feel like playing with your kids should be an option like I don't feel like you should do that you know I feel like you should always overprotect your kids especially me I'm a single mother and when I say I'm a single mother I'm by myself most of the time um yeah they have their fathers but I'm still here like most of the time so it's like I have to protect my kids so I have to always I'm always in mommy bear mode you know about everything I do I'm in mommy bear mode I'm not going to compromise their safety. I'm not going to put them... Milani, they do not want to see a little doll. I'm not going to put them in um, no dangerous situations. or I'm not going to put them in situations where I would feel uncomfortable either. You know? Like, I'm just not doing it for nothing. So, anyway. Say that to say this. So, I took Milani... I took all the kids to the park yesterday. And I had... Taylor usually sleeps when we go to the park, but this time she was up because she had took her nap earlier. So, Milani had met these, this little girl and this little boy. Um, they were like, the little girl was two, I think the little boy was four, so they were like neck and neck and age, like right there. They were some decent kids, like, they were some well-behaved kids. Um, they was there with their grandfather. The mother came later on, but they was there with their grandfather. So, 
they started playing with each other nicely nicely and i'm like oh my god they playing so nice like they was playing so nice that i wanted to just exchange phone numbers at the end but i, I didn't want to be a weirdo like um excuse me can you give me your number so we could link up blah, blah, blah. i'm shy so i wasn't about to go up to their mom and do all of that um but i wanted to because they played so good and these kids nowadays, they don't really be well behaved. So it's like when you find some well behaved kids, you kind of just want your kids to always to stay in touch with those people. Let me just say that. So there was another little girl that ended up coming to the park and I don't know why I thought that she was their sister. I thought that she was their sister. Don't ask me why I thought that because the grandfather introduced the little boy and the little girl to me as siblings. He didn't introduce the other little girl to me. So, Milani started playing with another girl that was a little older. Now, this little girl, I didn't like. And why I didn't like her is because me, being overprotective, got my eye on all my kids. Like, I'm standing literally at the top of the playground i was on the playground you know the little bridge that it kind of you can bounce on it a little bit i was standing on that bridge and i had taylor in my hand because taylor didn't want to walk she didn't want to do anything but be digging her hand in my um chest at the park and just being a brat her teeth was her, her gums were hurting and she was teething so it was like not a good nothing for her at the moment so um i'm watching i'm watching this little girl and I'm watching Milani. You know, Milani is younger than her. So, Milani follows people. You know, like when she's playing with people, she follows them. She runs after them. She follows them. So, she's following this little girl. But the little girl is doing, like, weird stuff, you know? So... I When I, I said, Milani, it's time to go. Because it was getting dark. We was there late, like... We was there at, at like, we left there at like 7.30, so you know it was dark. But they was having so much fun, you know, it was a vibe, so I was, we was in there, you know. Um, I'm like, Milani, it's time to go, we gotta go, whatever. Milani like, no, oh my god. I'm like, okay, the same thing she do every time we leave in the park. I don't wanna go, blah, blah, blah. So the little girl's like, run, like run from me. Telling my daughter to run from me, so. Milani runs. I got Taylor in my hand. Luckily, my son was there. Um, yeah. So, they're running. I have to turn my back for a minute. Turn around, looking for Milani. They're under the playground. Like, under. Under. So, I'm looking like... Because I like to watch things. I like to just watch before I go react. So, I'm standing there just watching like, but well, what is she doing? Then I'm like, Milani, you know. I'm right there, but I'm letting her know I'm on your, I'm on your ass. So, they get up and they run again from me. So, they was about to go run on, go down the slide. They was about to hit the slide. My son said, no, I'm about to go get her. And he ran fast, like he just swooped her up before she could go down the slide. She was mad. He just carried her out of the park. She was crying. But what was that little girl doing under the playground? Like, I didn't see no inappropriate touching or nothing like that. But still, like, it just rubbed me the wrong way. Like, you're hanging out with a three-year-old under the playground. I felt like she was trying to... um. I felt like she was trying to be fresh. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I was one of the mothers that wasn't watching or wasn't there, my daughter would have definitely experienced some weird stuff. Okay? So, when I say watch your kids, you can let them run around and be kids all you want to. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but let the kids be kids. Crap. But you better be on their heels because kids are... Um, you got to worry about kids just as much as you got to worry about adults. You don't know 
what they've been exposed to. You don't know what they've seen and they're repeating the behavior. You don't know if they're getting abused at home. Like you just don't know. It's real scary dealing with kids and and trying to be understanding, you know, when it comes to your baby being exposed to stuff or just being around kids that just don't don't have no home training. So I got my first experience with that yesterday at the park. And I was just like, where is, I said to her, cause she said, we want to play. Like when I was getting Milani, we want to play. Listen, you can play. Where's your father? I said, who are you here with? Where your mother? She was like, I'm not here with my mom. I'm here with my father. So I looked at her father and he, he was like, um, didn't really speak too much English. So I ain't really say nothing to him because I don't speak Spanish. But if you don't get a grip on your child coming up to me talking about we want to play when I'm trying to bring my daughter home. If you don't get out my face, little girl, like being grown. I can't stand a grown little girl. Like I can't stand it. Like I can't stand. Like where is your mother? Let me talk to your mother. I'm not talking to you. Like back up. Back up. Like too grown. Too grown. I ain't raising my kids, my daughters to be grown and sassy. That's that's not cute to me. It might be cute and funny to other parents, but that's not funny to me at all. Because when they get sassy with you, when they get sassy with you in front of people, you won't be mad. But you egging it on and saying it's cute and stuff and laughing when they do it. Just creating a little monster. That's all you're doing. Creating a little monster, so... While my kids are little, and even my nine-year-old, I'm overprotective over her too, but she could talk and she could tell how she feel about stuff. So I'm not as overprotective as I am over the babies. Like babies are little. They can't even defend themselves. They don't know what be going on. They don't know if somebody looking at them funny. They don't really know anything. They're just really vulnerable. Um, What do you want? I'll get it for you. And go get me another roll because we have the end. Yes. Ask me another roll. When you get a chance. When you get a chance. Yeah, they don't really be knowing nothing. And it's just like... I mean, anybody that have my kids, we need to be... We need to be in contact. Because I just want to know what's going on. I'm that parent that just wants to know what's going on my kid what they doing how they doing how they feeling like if i can't be there i'm just like that i'm like that and i can't help it and i think people should respect that because it is what it is i'm not gonna let up to make nobody happy or let up because you think i should or your life is your life and my life is my life if something happens to my kids my kids are my everything they're my everything. So, like, if something happens to my kids, I don't know what I would do with myself. And I know this. So, I'm not going to put myself in predicaments where I have to constantly feel worried or uncomfortable or anything. Like, they are my everything. I, I don't see life without them. I honestly don't. Like, they're my purpose for being here. They're my purpose for why I do certain things that I do, you know. So, if something happens to them... It's going to affect me more than the person, than it will affect the person that was telling me to let up a little bit. Let them be kids. Oh, that's their family. Oh, just let them go or just do this. All right, they're going to be all right. Like them same people are not going to feel that pain. Those same people are not going to feel that pain when something tragic happens to your child. So protect your kids. By any means necessary, protect them. And if something is telling you to protect your kids and you, you're feeling uncomfortable about something in your gut, in your gut, follow your gut. Always, And I learned that. Always follow your gut because your gut be trying to tell you. You don't want to be like, I should have not did that or I should have did this or I should. You don't want to live your life like that. Feeling like you should have listened to your gut. That's the worst feeling in the world. Especially when it come to your kids. One of my burners stopped working, y'all. And I had this same problem. 
I don't even remember when when I had my last stove. I don't remember how long ago it was when that burner had stopped working. Um, of course, it took my landlord forever to get me a new stove. Um, and I don't even think the stove is new. I feel like it's like um, used because now the front burner is going out on this stove too. So I'm gonna have to tell him about that and I, I probably won't have another, I'm probably gonna have to cook from three burners. So if y'all see me doing a cooking video and I'm cooking from three burners, it's because my burner is out and I don't know when my landlord going to change out my stove because he takes forever to do stuff. Like I know y'all hear the um, smoke detector going off I've been told him about the smoke detector for a long time ago. Like, so long ago that I forgot, you know? Like, you think he came and changed the batteries? Even though that's something that I could do. But it's like, as soon as the battery gets changed, it goes back into beeping again. So I don't know what's wrong with them things. I think something, I think something is wrong with the smoke detector itself not necessarily that the batteries are dying but i ran that by him already so y'all just gonna hear some beeping until lord knows when probably probably my entire stay in this apartment y'all gonna hear beeping in the background okay so just bear with me because i done tuned them out i don't even they don't even bother me no more they don't bother me anymore I don't even hear it sometimes. I But when I go to edit my videos, I hear it in the background. I'll be like, Dad, I know these people are like, you need to change your batteries. But no, honey. It's deeper than the battery. Okay? It's deeper than the battery. I like these type of videos too because I don't really have to edit them. I just do, like, you know? I just do them, post them, and they're good. I'm learning that too with like vlogging and stuff. Sometimes you can make a vlog fun, like when you put the music and stuff in the background. It makes it fun and entertaining, but sometimes it's just like the rawness of my videos. The raw, raw, rawness. But this is the raw part that I... Why is this egg cooking like this? so dark. But it's the raw part of my video I don't like. It's when my child is pulling on my pants and trying to climb up. Mm, my, 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 my. I'm trying to make a breakfast. I'll be back, guys. I'll be back. I am back. I got her off my back. <sighs> so I'm still cooking. Um, I think I want some grits. I think I want some grits with my... Food. and I'm cleaning my chicken right now in the sink nice um because I'm probably gonna do I want some fried chicken breast with um I want to do like my chicken breast really crispy I've been watching videos on how to get it crispy I think you need like um I think it's buttercream I don't know or some type of heavy whipping cream and egg I don't know I gotta look into it but I want my I was about to say, I want my cripping crispy. That's what I was about to say. I want my chicken crispy um, with some honey and hot sauce mixed together, some coconut jasmine rice, and I still have to find or figure out a side. Maybe some spinach. I don't know. I got to get vegetables. I, I didn't really get no vegetables um, when I went to the grocery store. Well, I got fresh vegetables, but... I didn't really. I'm gonna wash this pan because I don't like when it gets too, 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 too greasy and too brown. That right there. I don't like that because then everything you make starts to be dark. And who the hell wants dark eggs and dark everything? Cajun style. 
breakfast. My kids would be like, uh uh, I don't like this. Milani fast to tell you. Mommy, there's something on here. It's something on here. Therefore, I'm not going to eat it. <laughs> and this is why I'm not eating breakfast today. You always got an excuse of why she's not eating breakfast today. Oh. I'm doing nothing today, though. I think I'm just going to, like, um... Refill, refill. I can't even talk properly. Y'all should have got me on the second cup of coffee, not the first. I think I'm gonna refill my um Airwick um wall plugins, and you know, just probably change my living room around a little bit. My bookshelf. I wanna, cause I don't move them around the house so much. They kind of like stripping a little bit. So I kind of just wanna take. That's nice, baby. A fox? Yeah. I want to just take the, um... What is it? It's a cat. I think that's a fox, honey. But, okay. It's a cat. I want to kind of, like, take... Because I have tall bookshelves. So, I kind of want to just take the, um... I don't need to leave that out because I'm about to make grits. I want to take the... I can't even talk properly. They're up high, so I want to basically take off two shelves and make it lower and organize their books and organize some stuff and just change my living room around today. I think I have um like three papers to write today, so I kind of just didn't really want to do anything today, um, but work on that and take Milani's braids out. And then like later on, we can head out to the park or head out wherever we going. But as far as like early in the day, I kind of just want to chill and clean up a little bit. All right, y'all. Let me finish up their breakfast. Um, if y'all want to see what I had to eat or what the kids had to eat or what breakfast looked like in general, um, you know, I'll put the plate at the end of the video for y'all. But of course, I I'm forgot to even plate the food and, and take a picture kids. of it. Y'all forgive me. I be doing too much sometimes. This, so, to the next video, y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And like I said, my channel is going through a revamp, so bear with me. Um, losing subscribers, getting subscribers. Um, yeah. So, the ones that still here, baby. Thank you for rocking with me. But for the next video, what? I feel nauseous. I, I think the coffee is making me nauseous. Um, no, I'm not pregnant. But yeah, till the next video, y'all. Yeah.